The Breakers was built between 1892 and 1895. We're right on the Atlantic, and if you stand on any of the terraces or even on the front yard of the breakers, you can hear the crashing of the waves, and that's where the name came from. My name is Trudy Cox, and I'm the Executive Director of the Preservation Society of Newport County. Our mission is to preserve and protect and present the Newport mansions, to take care of the houses, as you can imagine, 11 historic houses, and to tell stories about these houses and the people who lived in them. The Breakers was built by Cornelius Vanderbilt and his wife, Alice. He was a part of the Vanderbilt family business, the railroad business. It was built pretty much as a showcase house to let the world know that they had done very well for themselves and they could build a house of this opulence. It has a very strong European flavor to it. It was designed to look like an Italian palazzo. Fortunately today, more than 24 million people have visited the Breakers since we, the Preservation Society, began to give tours here in 1948. I think the reaction that all people have when they walk into the Great Hall is wow. 50 feet high, 50 feet wide, that wonderful ceiling painting, which is glorious. It looks like the sky is above us. The music room was actually built in Europe and then disassembled, put on a boat, brought to the United States, reassembled here at the Breaker site. The balcony around the Great Hall is one that draws you to it. You want to go up onto the balcony and look down. Its location in Newport is important because this was the place for rich families to vacation during the summer because the climate was so spectacular, because it is a very pretty location. So there were a lot of benefits for people to come to Newport and to build houses like the Breakers. If you go to France, you have to go to Versailles. And if you come to the East Coast of the United States, you have to come to the Breakers.